Well, the rain's coming down pretty good now. Uh, the wind itself isn't blowing real strong right this minute through uh, through here, but but the rain's coming down pretty good. So we'll keep testing, see what we come up with, see how it holds up. Best I can tell from here, the the pullouts that I put on are holding out pretty good. Those are the, uh, the ones that I glued on with the sill net, and uh, so far they're holding. So we'll see see if they continue to hold. So far, so good. Like the pullouts on this side are still holding strong as well. So, so far, the uh, bonded pullouts are looking okay. Time will tell, but uh, both sides seem to be holding well. I'll give you a little better look at the uh, pullout and the pole here. Still getting a little bit of rain. But it's slacked off some now. These are the carbon arrows that I used for the poles. And what I did, I just left the knock on each end and just put a, a loop of mason's line on the pullout and then just hook it over the knock there to hold it in place. And then over here for the center, I had to join two arrows together. So what I did was uh, took I actually had a larger uh, carbon arrow, a little bit larger diameter. It slipped perfectly over the smaller ones. So I just epoxied that in place on one arrow, and then I just slipped the other one in there to make the pole, and then I can take it apart whenever uh, I want to carry it. Got two of those, and. Uh, seemed to do the job. They held in that wind that we had. Of course, it wasn't the strongest wind I guess I've ever seen, but it was pretty decent wind blowing and they held up okay. And I guess you can hear the rain starting to come down again, so we'll leave it up here and let it test for a little bit longer. See how it holds. Well, this is also a good test for my tarp flies I got from Dutch. and. Uh, even through all this rain, they, they held up quite well. Didn't notice any slipping, which is pretty good, because I've, I've got this pretty tight. So they held up well, no slips. Well, the rain has seems to have stopped for now. So we got probably about 30, 35 minutes of rain. Uh, it wasn't uh, hard the whole time, but we had some good Good spells that were pretty hard. Wind was blowing pretty good, and the tarp held up well. Uh, you can see maybe there around the pullout that uh, the argon might have stretched just a little bit once it got wet. 
but that's really no different than, than your regular seal nylon. Uh, it it kind of gets a little stretchy once it gets wet, but uh, it doesn't uh, appear to be a problem. Uh, got a little more water pooled up on the top on the kind of flat area where the poles go across, but I uh, didn't see any leaks or anything underneath, so that didn't appear to be a problem with the, the water kind of pooling up there along the ridge line didn't didn't cause a problem. Uh, the poles held up well, the pullouts held up well. Uh, all in all, I'm very pleased with the Argon, so I hope you find this helpful. Uh, you can take a look at the previous video I did that showed this same tarp prior to the pullouts and the poles and uh, compare that to what uh, what it looked like during this range, range shower. and. Uh, just kind of get a feel for the difference between the two and see see what the difference the pullouts made. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And I appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch my video. See you later.